In this video we are going to be doing some Egyptian goose hunting, but this isn't what you might expect from a pest control video. I've got a story to tell, a story that all of us can learn from, and the story begins on a farm in the Eastern Cape of South Africa. I'm with my friend Luke Kibble and we've got the 260 Remington and the 22250 out, starting the day off with a quick zero check on some gongs a couple hundred meters out. 2772. We end up not really using the 260 in this video simply because the 22250 is a little bit better suited to this kind of hunting but the little 22250 gets its day in the spotlight today and as you'll see it does a pretty fantastic job. Now the primary purpose of this outing is pest control. Egyptian geese are a nuisance to most farmers in this part of the country and they need to be controlled. But Luke and I were raised to eat what we shoot, and with the right shot placement, you can take out these birds without damaging the breast meat. I'm using 50 grain Hornby V-Maxes at 3,650 feet per second, and these bullets tend to be very destructive on small animals, but I found that aiming at the top half of the bird usually works quite well, because yep. the breast bone that separates the vital organs from the breast meat usually does a good job of protecting the meat from damage. So it's a quick and humane end for the birds with minimal meat damage. It's exactly what we want. Okay, well the rain cut our hunting plans a little bit short there, but we had a good hour or so to just drive around and, and uh, shoot these two geese. So we're just gonna take the time to actually uh, remove the breast meat from the geese. These two look pretty intact. We on purpose kind of aim for the back end of the bird, the top part of the bird, so that the breast meat is attacked. Breast meat is the only part you really eat. So um, it's not a difficult process to get the breast meat out. Um, it's just a case of actually cutting down the keel, which is this, this bone that comes down the middle, around the back where the back of the breast bone kind of flares out, and then just loosening that meat and taking it out. And from there, we're probably going to slice it up and, and uh, turn it into a pie. I'm just hoping this rain doesn't come down and, and wet my camera, but let's see what we can do here. So, first goose. And I won't bore you with this long process, but this is where the real story begins. These two geese would turn into pies. I kept a couple for myself, but it was too much for me to finish on my own, so I decided to give one of the pies away. This is what the breast meat looked like after it had been removed from the goose. You can see it is perfectly intact. And this is Johnny and Eden. They're a wonderful couple from my church, and it was Eden's birthday, so I decided to give them one of the pies. And they really seemed to enjoy it. <laughs> so much, in fact, that they actually asked me if they could go out and shoot their own geese and make their own pie. So next time we went out, I wasn't the one behind the raffle. Nice. Lovely. You got it. <laughs> Shut How did it feel? <gasps> it was so cool. <laughs> She's just so silly. She didn't know that even when her best friend died, that she was going to get killed just after. I don't think it was two girls. I think it was. <laughs> oh, you're right. They were probably, they were probably married. <laughs> That's so much better. <laughs> yeah. No, just awesome. I'm just like, <laughs> Where some is people, he? Some people don't like shooting geese, but you've got to give it a chance. God. <laughs> <laughs> Oh God, Matt. <laughs> Johnny and Eden are from the metropolis of Cape Town and like most people from big cities they grew up without having many opportunities to hunt or even to see where their food comes from. I love the fact that they wanted to learn how to harvest their own food even if it's a little uncomfortable at first. Too many people nowadays are disconnected from reality and I love the fact that Johnny and Eden were keen to learn. Look at mine. Look at the face of the trail, his eyes. Yeah. <laughs> yours look, yours looks like he's down with like dignity and I closed its eyes, it looks dead. Mine just looks betrayed. <laughs> but yours is a lot bloodier than mine. Eh? Christmas geese. Christmas geese. <gasps> pies, we got pies. Oh, he's got like his Christmas colors gone. <laughs> <laughs> We didn't see any more geese on this particular day, but we did get to appreciate some other birds and even watch a family of yellow mongoose going about their business. And the story ends with Eden learning how to do the dirty work. <laughs> it's not easy to cut the breast meat off a goose, especially if it's your first time. 
but she did it with a smile on her face. Not bad for a city girl. As always, thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you in the next one.